welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to explain you about the free plagiarism detection tools when you write your research article or paper and you want to submit your article to the journal before that you have to check the plagiarism of your research paper or the article so at that time you require the plagiarism checking tools so if you go for the standard plagiarism checking tools they are not freely available institutions can afford and they are uh, paid versions so if you want to check your uh, uh, plagiarism of the article then some tools are there uh, which are free you can detect the plagiarism uh, in your article so here are uh, some of the plagiarism detecting tools uh, so i am going to discuss with you and if you compare to the paid version you may not uh, have the standard uh, to that up to that but you can use them as alternate option so which are freely available so let us know which are the plagiarism detecting tools for free so here are the top 10 best plagiarism checking tools which are reviewed uh, and tested so if you go for uh, best free plagiarism checking tool first one is scriber so overall score is 4.2 and it is whether it is 100% free uh, it is not actually 100% free if you want the full report of your article complete article plagiarism report if you require it is not free okay uh, so if you want to check for uh, limited uh, words then you may get but for full report if you want to get it is not free scriber so q text so it is also not free you you can see here limitation uh, you can go for one trial which is free and up to 500 words you can check so dupli checker it is completely free thousand words you can check per uh, plagiarism checking but you can't generate complete report here for per check thousand words you can check but it is completely free like uh, duplicate checker small seo tools are also 100 percent free and you can see the overall score uh, maximum uh, scribble has the overall score high but uh, if you want to get the complete report you have to pay some uh, fees so pre-post seo limitation not clearly explained there grammarly if you go free version there is no information you have to pay for grammarly also plagiarism detector okay like uh, duplicate checker small seo tools you can check thousand words per check so then uh, check plagiarism uh, so it is also having uh, uh, that limitation not clearly explained but it is uh, uh, limited to some words search engine report it is also completely free but only thousand words per check so plagiarism checker it is uh, having the five free checks and that to 800 words so up to 800 words you can check five times freely but after that you, you have to pay so these all are what uh, the best uh, top 10 freely available plagiarism detecting tools so let us uh, check uh, the plagiarism report of uh, the article with the help of dupli checker so here is the website you can search in google and click on the first link so this is the interface of uh, plagiarism checker that is we call dupli checker so here you you have to paste uh, your text in this box and that must be limited to thousand words so let us uh, take the paragraph or the text from your article so here i am going to select this text from my article copy and you can go up to four thousand uh, words paste it here in this box so you can see uh, the thousand words limitation per check here they have given below 
and here uh, I have pasted total was 477. So let us check this one. Click on I am not robot and click on check plagiarism. So here uh, scanning started, scanning plagiarism. So it may take one or two minutes to generate and it depends upon how many words you have pasted. So limitation is 1000 words. Once the plagiarism report has been generated, you can identify the uh, plagiarism in your article and then you can find out the citations or the sources uh, where the overlap has happened and try to reduce your plagiarism of the article. So here you can see here 23% plagiarism and 74% is unique. So that means uh, you have to reduce this 23% plagiarism of this text. Here are the similarity, overlap, the sources you can see here, determination of effective atomic number. So the uh, similarity is 70% from this source. So go to that paper, uh, read about that paper where the overlap has happened. Uh, reduce that uh, or rewrite and I have explained how to rewrite the research article. You can use Quillboard software paraphrasing tool uh, to reduce the plagiarism. So first you should detect the plagiarism and then once you find the plagiarism uh, in your article then reduce using or rewrite using uh, the Quillboard software or else you can manually reduce that also if uh, the limited plagiarism is there. So here are the sources. Uh, so these papers are having the similarity overlap uh, between your work. So try to find out and reduce or rewrite your article. And once again, uh, you can copy that text and check the plagiarism so that uh, you can reduce the plagiarism of article. So here you can download the report so once you download this is the plagiarism report from Dupri checker so here uh, the text has been marked with different color where the plagiarism is there try to reduce and resources also here they have given uh, read those papers where uh, plagiarism has happened and rewrite that. So this is how uh, this freely available plagiarism checking tools are helpful. So with the example of Dupli Checker I have explained. So these are the alternate options when you want to check the plagiarism of your article. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope this information is helpful.